Hi Virgo, it's Jo from Angels and Ancestors and Lovelies. This is your What the Fuck reading for the 16th to the 22nd of November. Rolling around to the end of the year just nicely, thank you. This is your energy card. I have changed the layout and the setup, darlings. I'm hoping it's going to work. Please let me know what you think. You have the winter solstice. You have reflection. That is beautiful. So let's see how that is combined around your reading. From a current situation for Virgo, please. 16th to the 22nd of November. and then i'm looking for your first aspect facing your fears and taking your fucking power back nice and then darlings we're looking for your second aspect your manifestation your wish fulfillment and why this may be fucked movement and journey that's what you can do about the situation what's out of Virgo's hands oh the reconnecting to the true you And then your outcomes. Okay, darling. So what started the what the fuck? You've got the reminiscence card. You've got the six of chalices. You've been thinking about something from the past. Maybe a friendship that was walked away from. Um, and I'm getting a, a, a long-term friendship. I'm not getting a short-term friendship. I'm getting this went on for years and years and years. And you one of you walked away from it. Um, and you thought that it may have opened up some options for you. However, um, I'm getting that the options weren't as sweet as they would have been if your friend had been doing this with you. And this is not a love connection at all. This is platonic. Um, and I'm getting that your seven of chalices, you had people whispering, twittering in your ear um, that kind of compounded this situation and I'm getting that one or the other of you just walked away so darlings you're um, facing your fears and taking your power back you have the harvest card how beautiful is this you've sown seeds over many years and finally um, I'm getting that in the last two seasons so this would have been um, summer coming into autumn that you've started to see um, those seeds grow. You've started to see the harvests coming in from those seeds. I'm not kind of getting a sense of what it is, but it could be around your work. It could be around some relationships that you have now um, kind of offered out an olive branch to, but not that original relationship I'm not getting. I'm just saying that because this little person here is offering an apple and I'm kind of getting that it's put you in a much happier place to feel that those relationships have been put right. However, you are still in a dilemma about this other relationship. So your manifestation, your wish fulfillment on why it may be fucked. I'm kind of getting that part of you wants this person to come and knock on the door and another part of you is holding on to your pentacles for dear life. So I don't know if there was an issue around money um, or whether you're saving for something and you think that they may try to tap into you for something. Um, 
you've got your back partially turned you are looking at the door but darlings what i'm going to say stop holding on to shit you know if this isn't about money stop holding on to emotions and feelings that are going to just keep you adrift and um, this is your manifestation i'm kind of getting that this is what you want to do you want to let go of the issues that happened around this walking away um more so now than ever is what i'm getting and i clearly heard that more so now than ever so darlings your movement your journey where the fuck you need to be you've continued walking i've got that you've almost got a whole new way of life um, but you still look over your shoulder you still look as to where you came from um, and what it meant to you and how things have definitely changed for you so you could have moved spiritually physically mentally emotionally if it's a physical move it will be so different for you so if you've moved from a city into the country or vice versa that's your physical mood move emotionally you may be better equipped to deal with things mentally i'm getting that a clearing of a dark cloud has been lifted and spiritually i'm getting that you are shifting into something that is completely unrecognizable as you from back in this time so darlings what you can do about the situation is step out of the bloody shadows emerge like a butterfly um this is your person in the distance and you really really want to catch up with them really want to catch up with them so why don't you why don't you just step out make a wish on that wishing well and just go and find them it's what it's saying what you can do about the situation you have the winter solstice of reflection i am getting that already you have moved into that energy of reflection looking back at what happened why it happened when it happened how you were feeling how they may have been feeling and maybe even you're looking at it from a completely different perspective now what you can't do anything about at the moment darlings is you have the knight of pentacles this is slow movement you're in the right direction but it's really fucking slow um and it's it's slow to the point where yes it's nice and steady there's you can see that there's going to be abundance but it's it's slow coming it really is and there's nothing you can do about that currently now i'm not getting that that's anything to do with this part of the reading i'm getting that that is the current situation that we are all in with don't matter which side of the pond you are on there are fucking issues going on beyond our control and what they're saying is hold your horses allow this to be slow you don't need to go galloping off because no no other fucker is so reconnecting to your true self virgo do what you do best lovelies and communicate there is nothing more than you like than to have clear concise communication you like the thought of getting those text messages the the phone calls the chats in the evenings the sitting down with a cup of tea and for, i'm even getting for some of you a cup of tea and a fag um and for those of you that live in america that doesn't mean the same as what it means here it means a cigarette okay um so yeah so clear communication so if communication starts coming back towards you and it doesn't seem to be right it could be that you need to check it out so if a letter hasn't arrived check out why it hasn't arrived if a text has arrived and it looks like half done check out that it's not half done and also check your own communications because i am getting that some of this um may be down to the fact that you haven't communicated and when communication starts up again it is going to be difficult and it is going to be awkward to start with so darlings your end of your reading you have got a wish fulfillment card you've got the star card this is about getting into that water and healing 
and it is about then understanding where your wish sits in the bigger scheme of things um and it is about to come to fruition don there is going to be a reconnection now how beneficial that's going to be how positive that is going to be will be down to you and the other party and what was i saying about perspective because at the end of the deck that's exactly what you're doing you're looking at the whole situation from a new clear perspective so darlings let's get again reflection you are really reflecting on what happened have some knowledge wisdom and guidance from the angels and the ancestors for virgo play 16th to the 22nd of november for virgo plays anything else for virgo nope just the one card okay and we have got hermit and it says retreat and recharge and that's exactly what the winter is about with the reflection card so you have got retreat recharge and reflect so my darlings that is your reading 16th to the 22nd of december wherever you are in the world know that i love and appreciate you being on this journey with me um on the channel and wherever you are in the world this evening lovelies please be safe and i will catch you in the next reading bye for now